As members of the House get set to vote on the new Republican health care bill, a, delega a delegation from the Congressional Black Caucus took time Wednesday to meet with President Trump. Led by Louisiana Democrat Cedric Richmond, the group sought to discuss with the president a range of issues that negatively impact the black community. One of those CBC members was Congresswoman Gwen Moore, who represents Wisconsin's 4th District. Earlier, CBS News spoke to her about the group's meeting with the commander-in-chief. Take a listen. The disagreements were basically things that are all public, uh, and we didn't take a deep dive into them. Um, but uh, I, for example, uh, talked about the impact, perhaps, that uh, block granting Medicaid and block granting food stamps would have. It would have the opposite impact of trying to help very poor people, including people uh, not only in the inner city, but in Appalachia and other places that had voted for, uh, for the president. And he uh, seemed to have, have heard that. I believe that African Americans are disproportionately affected by poverty. Yes, I do. But uh, that uh, notwithstanding that, there are very many people who, uh, and I pointed it out, who, <clears throat> as we've seen in these town hall meetings recently, uh, who are upended, um, unhinged by the idea that they might lose their health care, um, as an example. And so um, <clears throat> the president was not any, in any position to make any commitments in any particular proposal, but we felt that it was our responsibility to just raise the, the areas of disagreement. One of the things that, uh, that I uh, didn't raise, because I was very uh, careful about the time, was that uh, we really, I really appreciate the initiative uh, that his daughter Ivanka uh, wants to take with childcare. I mean, childcare is a huge barrier for women in general and poor women in particular in terms of entering the workforce. Uh, and so, you know, we were trying to build good faith yeah. uh, in this meeting, and uh, he did suggest that we meet on a regular basis, and so. Uh, we look forward to, to some of our ideas. There was quite a bit of discussion about HBCUs, uh, and I think the president's response was that he didn't, didn't cut it as he did everything else. So we'll see uh, what that markup looks like later on, but there, uh, the president does have that on his radar, not only from his meeting with the presidents, but with this meeting as well. And then there were other things besides just HBCUs. I mean, there's the Pell Grants and uh, TRIO, and uh, gear up other educational programs uh, that uh, that they took really a machete to, and those things were raised as well. I mean, education is the key to upward mobility for any community, and we made it very clear. She has relationships with a couple of members of the CBC already uh, prior to uh, President Trump right. Trump's uh, election, and I, that can't be harmful. Many of our constituents, as you know, were, were concerned about our meeting with him, uh, but we don't have the luxury of saying we won't meet with the President of the United States uh, and, and, and saying that we won't continue to work toward, um, uh, toward the goal of improving the lives of our constituents. They elected me to come and represent them and, and serve with them. We have 1,399 more days left uh, in his presidency, and I don't think that our communities would be served well by our not engaging. And I want to give a special thanks to our CBS News White House producer Jillian Hughes and CBS News White House off-air reporter Jackie Alemany for that.